I am in the brand new and sparkling lobby of our Simpich Heritage Center. I've actually been working on a lot of the changes in here for many, many months now. And finally, we are ready to open our doors and allow visitors to come and see what we've done. And uh, so the lobby is probably the biggest change. So this is actually the door to our marionette theater, which is currently closed in 2020. This is July 2020. Uh, but right outside the door, I have a, an enlargement of a, actually an article that was in a magazine years ago. We've tried to include a lot of enlargements here in the lobby of kind of vintage Simpich character doll and marionette history. And that's a little article that I did years ago. So we have that there by the, uh, the theater entrance. And then right here, this is an enlargement of a woodblock Christmas card that my parents designed, I believe in the late 1950s. We've had this enlargement and I love to showcase that. And it has the perfect spot here above our bench here in the lobby, which is here so that visitors can sit and watch our various uh, videos about the Heritage Center. And we have a number of these now and we're continuing to produce them all the time about uh, specific dolls and displays, uh, some displays at home and then here in, in our many, many uh, uh, showcases. So it allows people to kind of get a picture of, of the, the 54 year history of the dolls. Uh, right below the TV screen is Tittlewomp and he is our official Simpich Heritage Center mascot. And our son Kemper is currently designing a medallion that he'll be featured on that will say Certified Simpich. And there's much more to come on Tittlewomp and the special uh, certificate of authenticity that he is displaying there. Uh, we have uh, actually our son Kemper designed this from over on the other side a catalog cover that I designed I believe in the 1990s uh, during the 1990s I was the uh, official doll photographer if you can believe it and my parents had me take lots of pictures of the dolls and I came up with this uh, this uh, cover showcasing you know close-up portraits of the various dolls and when we opened Simply Showcase back in uh, 2009, I had Kemper design some additional panels with uh, uh, vignettes of some of the other marionettes and dolls that we actually had in the window of uh, Simpich Showcase for several years. Here's another panel that Kemper designed. Here's a portrait of Gusty, which, uh, which is on a large uh, a display panel. Actually, we rescued these from a flood uh, about a month ago, we had these in storage and this, this flash flood came raging through our storage area and uh, we had standing water and actually uh, a number of things had to be rescued. And fortunately, I was getting ready to put these up in the, in the lobby and they were spared uh, the water damage. So we were thankful for that. So let me see, uh, lots of garlands and celebration. Probably one of the most exciting things that our new Heritage Center has is what we're calling the Simpich Heirloom Transfer Station. And then back over here, all the way back here, is one of the cases. And we have all of our collectible Simpich figures behind glass because of their great value and increasing value in today's market because these dolls have not been made in many, many years. They're very difficult to repair and we're wanting to take special care of them. But this is just one of several cases we have the heirloom transfer station for people to see the dolls that we have available for purchase. So I've redesigned the cases and uh, let me see, have additional panels here. This, these are enlargements from some of the old catalogs. Um, this is one that was in a newsletter years ago, I believe it was 2004, of the painting room. And uh, these were rescued from the flood. And then on towards the entrance here, this is a catalog that my parents designed when uh, the dolls were still in our house. 
and it really wasn't very long before they outgrew. You can see from these pictures that uh, you know the activity was just overflowing in the basement of our house, and they were thinking, how are we going to contain this thing? And finally, they couldn't and had to, to purchase this building in Old Colorado City in 1978. Here's another enlargement from a catalog. So it's, it's kind of fun to showcase these and give people a little taste of history from the years that the dolls were being made here in this building and also in the Simpich home. And here in this window, which has been here for many years, I've decided to put some of my mother's uh, porcelain pieces. And it's a great way to showcase some of those. They were a labor of love for her. She sculpted the originals out of Super Sculpey. And she had a new one come out for, an, for every, every Christmas for a number of years. So it's a great way to showcase some of those. So this, this is just the entrance to the Simpich Heritage Center. I've done uh, quite a few things in the actual museum area. I'm working on two new cases, and even though we're open now, the cases will actually premiere later this summer. But I've got new things in the Christmas room. I have a brand new angel display and cloud baby display. I've moved some other cases to various, uh, you know, I've switched them out. So lots and lots of things going on. So finishing touches here and then uh, on right out here we have our new marquee uh, this is going to be open to the public free of charge we want to really the goal of what we have here is to uphold the heritage of what uh, my parents did for 54 years and uh, so we've tried to create a very inviting um, environment to welcome people back and explore uh, the history of the Simpich dolls and the new things that we're constantly trying to develop to uphold their heritage and you know introduce uh, new and exciting ways for people to display them and uh, sh you know display artifacts and heirlooms it just goes on and on so we're very excited and one of one additional thing we wanted to share with you because we are in the middle of this COVID thing which has been going on for uh, many months now. Uh, if you are not able to come to Simpich Showcase here in Colorado Springs, let us know if you would be interested in having a virtual tour of the Heritage Center and I can maybe uh, walk you through and show you various displays and introduce more and more of the history. But this is being done with our videos that we're releasing regularly also. So let us know what you'd be interested in seeing and we will continue to try to unfold the Simpich story. So exciting, exciting for us right now.